Hi there. Today I am going to demonstrate how to create custom waveforms in Citrus just using the built-in stuff. The first thing that we'll want to do is go to channels uh, up at the top here uh, into add one and you'll see Citrus in the list there. So after clicking on Citrus we've got our default patch which is a string. Not really useful to us right now, at least not for what we want to do. So if you click this drop down up here in the corner, uh, let's go to presets and click on default. And that'll give us just a standard sine wave. So nothing terribly impressive, but we will shape this. So uh, let's click on operator one. And this will allow us to modify the waveform that we've got. Uh, the fader that we want to adjust is the one that says shape. It'll be the leftmost one in the collection up here. We want to move that to 50%, and that'll give us a sawtooth waveform. We're also going to want to take this frequency ratio and take it down to 1.0. And we're done with this section here, so the next thing that we want to do is go to the filter section at the top and we actually want to disable this filter because the filter is actually not what we're using we are more interested in the wave shaper so if you go to the wave shaper up here it'll be the darkened section we want to enable that and that'll switch the wave shaper um, on below that uh, we also want to click on this little plus sign here to put this in a bipolar mode and that'll allow us to fully customize the waveform that we have. So we're done with the filter section. Uh, the final thing that we want to do to prepare for uh, playing around with the custom waveform is work with the, cha uh, with the routing over here. You want to right click on the output dial that's here to disable that. Go down to the row that says F1 in the first column and set that to negative 100%. And then also under the row F1, we want to increase the output to 100%. So what that does is it takes the first waveform, routes it to the filter section here, and then routes the output from that filter section out to you know wherever we can mix it elsewhere. And that's all there is to it. Uh, we can essentially play around with this uh, wave shaper and create any sort of waveform that we want. If we set it in the middle here, we should get no sound. So I'm going to create a triangle waveform. And you can right click to place plots, you can right click the plots to delete them, and right clicking them will also give you the option to set different curves if you'd like. So that's a triangle waveform that we've just created. We can essentially set these curves to whatever we want, create any kind of waves of oops that we want. Uh, we can even set this to uh, model after old school gaming consoles such as Square Way with a 25% duty cycle. Should be a very familiar sound effect. That's all there is to it. The rest is up to you. Just play around, create any waves that you want. And uh, it's got full polyphony. So uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about overlapping notes or anything like that. And yeah, that's all I got for you. If you have any other questions uh, on this video, on the process, or you'd like me to explain something further, um, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. You can send me a direct message on uh, YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.